All right, guys, what's up again? Welcome back again. Um, I'm sorry it's been a little while. I'm sorry I haven't really been keeping up on too many videos. I think I'm four videos behind of like what I like to do, which is one per week. Uh, I'm gonna catch up though soon because here we've got the 944 and the Evo. Now a little bit of backstory since the last time I saw you guys. I'm not seeing you, but I'm seeing the camera. Anyway, uh, the Evo I took back up to Grade A Garage and had Matt fix it up properly. Got a new lower intercooler pipe, boost leak tested to 30 PSI, full boost pulls all day, no blow offs. Perfect. The Evo's back uh, for now. Don't jinx me. Now that I've got this car back, I need I need to spend some time on that guy right there, the 944. Um, this car, my dream first car, would have not, rad, not rather had anything else for my first car than this, and absolutely no regrets at all. And I've heard so many, I've heard so many people say that they wish they still had their first car. So hearing that and and seeing that like you know a 944 is my first car, it's my dream first car, all that. I want to keep it forever. Now, in order to keep it forever, I obviously need to take incredibly good care of it. It needs to be properly maintained, properly cleaned all the time, and sadly not driven every single day, which I've been doing. Um, especially with the Evo being the troublesome it is, um, I've been having to do that with the 944. Now, since I got the Evo back, like I said, it's time for the 944 to get some love, starting with an exhaust. Now I need to take, the, the next portion of this video is going to be me completely taking off the exhaust of the car, including the manifold, and taking it to my friend to have him weld it up if he can. Uh, I really think the header might be a little too far gone at this point to weld it up. If that's the case, I will simply buy an entire exhaust from Lindsay Racing so that I do not have the embarrassing, like, let's see, there's probably one, two three, maybe four exhaust leaks total in this car right now. Everyone says it sounds good, which, so thank you for that, but I, it's, it's embarrassing to me how many just, how awful the exhaust sounds in my, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to get a full exhaust for this car. Either I'm going to weld this one up or have this one welded up by my friend, or I'm going to get an entirely new system by Lindsay Racing. Um, that system will also be straight piped. I will not have a muffler or a cat, and it will also be registered as antique vehicle, so I don't need an inspection sticker, considering I've never actually taken this car to get inspected in the three years that I've owned it. Uh, anyway, so that's that's kind of the backstory right now with what has been going on here. Uh, the Evo's back for now. Um, hopefully no more issues while I've got the 944 uh, getting some work done too. So just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update in the beginning of this video. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to happen from here on out. So this video, exhaust is coming off of you. It's getting fixed. I'm happy. I'm proud. Yeah, but honestly, guys, I was just really thinking about it. I've sunk a lot of money into just fixing the Evo. All that money... I could have put into the 944. I could have had a full exhaust. I could have had the engine rebuilt. I could have done so much to this car with the money that I put into the Evo. And I'm just thinking now, like, I can't wait anymore to do stuff to this car. Like, I need to do it when I've got the opportunity to do it. Right now, I've got the Evo back. It's at 100% for now. Um, so I feel like it's the best time right now to start on the 944 and what I need to do. Firstly, with the most important thing to me, the exhaust, because that's the biggest thing about this car that bothers me is the exhaust. It just sounds so bad and it leaks all over the place. So yeah, first step, exhaust. Let's do it. All right, welcome back everyone to what I said was going to happen next, the 944 exhaust removal. Uh, it's been raining kind of all day. It's well, the wind's blowing, so it's raining out of the trees now. But yeah, the ground's all wet. It's supposed to keep raining, but I'm going to try to get at this uh, in between the rain. And I got a nice dry piece of plywood under here so that I can lay on and not get wet. But anyway, first thing I think I got to do is going to be take off that piece right there, that piece that I put on a couple videos ago to hold it all together. I'm going to take that off, I do believe. Then I believe I'm also gonna have to take that bracket, that uh, those off right there, and the rest should be just basically taking it off the hanger and pulling it out. Uh, that part I'm gonna have to take the O2 sensor off, and uh, I'm also going to have to remove it from the top part there as well. 
uh, at the manifold. So let's get started. Uh, I believe these are all, I know those are 10 millimeter. I think these might be 13. I'm not entirely sure, but let's get some tools. All right, well guys, I'm under the 944 now. Both of these clamps are 13 inch, or 13 inch, 13 millimeter uh, bolts, socket things. Um, anyway, I realized this bracket right here actually broke. That's not a good time. That sucks a lot. Uh, anyway, it'll be easier to take out, I guess. There's one last bracket I have to deal with. It's just the two at the end, and then this one up here. So, yeah. But that still kind of sucks. My feet are getting wet right now, by the way. It's, it's you know, not wanting to stop raining. So, anyway, let's get a 13 and get this, get this stuff off of here. Correction. It was actually 14 millimeter. Um, probably on both of them. It's definitely on this band clamp down here. I'm assuming it's the same for these C clamps. Um... Is that bracket broken too? It might be. I don't know. Anyway, let's find out. Let's take these clamps off and find out. Well, I just had that clamp land straight on my temple because, yeah, I was right. Both both uh, both hangers came out. Well, this one came out. The other one was just straight up broke. I thought that one was still in. All oh, that hurt a lot. Um. Anyway, oh, it's disconnected. <laughs> it's actually hanging on the O2 sensor. That's not a good thing. I wonder if the O2 sensor just saved me. I would have died. I need to find somewhere to hold this thing up, though it's not on the O2 sensor. So I found that the O2 sensor is seized. So what I've decided to do is trace it up the car. Found out it actually plugs in right here. This is the other end of it. Uh, you can fish it down through these two zip ties, which look like they're actually factory. And then take the whole thing off. That way I can try to get the O2 sensor out outside of the car because I really I mean as you can see the wheels are barely even off the ground I don't have enough room under there nor do I have enough leverage to get that thing off there so what I'm doing is I unplugged it and I'm just fishing it through down back down through there now it's also super nice I think these are factory zip ties but you can squeeze these and you can release them I did that to this one already this one's being a little tight so I got a pair of pliers figured to make it a little bit easier but yeah you literally just squeeze it and it'll release Little by little, like I use two hands, but it'll release. You can actually fish this wire out of here. All right, so I fished it all the way out. As you can see, I loosened that up a lot, um, and it worked absolutely beautifully. Here's the O2 sensor attached to the exhaust. All I have to do now is take the back hangers off. I don't really have to take them off. I just have to release it from the back hangers, which are right there, and the exhaust is off. So we are very close. I'm just gonna sit on the ground. I'm already wet. It don't matter. I wasn't that wet. Gosh darn it! I shouldn't have sat on the ground. Yee. -hee. Here we go. 944 exhaust is out. I don't have to drag it too much. That's a lot of exhaust that we pull out. That's the mo most amount of exhaust I've ever pulled out of the car. 944 exhaust is now out. For all of you who have questions about the exhaust from here forward into the car is completely stock from here back is what's different so this was a it was a magnaflow high flow high flow catalytic converter i don't know like all the specifics on it that's all i know this is also a magnaflow high flowing muffler that is still legal it's in a glass plaque or anything um but yeah this is also all three inch pipe. It's no longer two and a half inch like stock is, which I believe is where I ran into all my problems because I made the pipe bigger. As you can see right there, this is where me and Jason had to try to fix it at. And it's, uh, you know, you can see where, where it's leaking at and everything. You can even see the carbon coming out of here. But yeah, that's the 944 exhaust for all of you who have questions. It's leaking here, it's leaked up here. Uh, I don't think it leaks anywhere back there, but it also leaks. Looks like there's a little hole right here that it'll also leak out of. Uh, apparently this is some type of tube on 944s that most people remove because it doesn't really serve a purpose and they plug this hole. I don't know if it's plugged or not. It doesn't really look, actually it might be. I think it is. Um, but yeah, there's also a couple leaks in the manifold, which I also have to take off. But anyway, that's the exhaust. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I think we made a good bit of progress today taking the entire exhaust out from underneath of the car, the most I've ever actually taken out of the car. Took the O2 sensor out. Haven't gotten it uh, on off of the actual exhaust yet. I'm going to let some lubricant soak into that. But next time, it's manifold time. It's a 13-millimeter socket. Um, I'm going to also have to get some, like, 
deep creep or something like that to get in there and loosen those up so they're not stupidly tight because they are um but anyway thank you guys for watching um you guys all have an amazing day and make sure you subscribe and follow for the next video go and follow me on everything you can so you can see all the content everywhere thank you guys and you have an amazing day